Hey there, Leslie here. And today I just want to do a video, a laundry list of all the possible reasons why you might be experiencing premature gray hair. I get emails and messages from people as young as 16 saying that they've got premature gray hair and they're very worried about it. They'd love to find out the root cause, but they don't know which avenues to explore with their doctors or medical professionals. So that's what this video is about. It's a laundry list of all those avenues you can explore. Um, the first one is going to be genetics, and I've done a video all about this that goes into great deal detail about it. Um, the second one would be loss of iron and or vitamin B12. And there are three reasons why that might happen. The first might be because um, you're a woman and you have very heavy monthly bleeds. Um, blood will take out iron, so that could be the reason. Um, heavy bleeds happen sometimes due to hormone imbalances. For instance, polycystic ovarian syndrome, otherwise known as PCOS, is one of those. You might also have uterine fibroids, which could cause those heavy bleeds. The next reason is not enough dietary iron. And I see this a lot when people write to me and say they have premature gray hair, very often vegan or vegetarian. And there are ways that you can still abide by that diet and get more um, iron into your body. For example, seaweed might be an alternative. Um, there are other things that you can do, but if it still persists, I think looking at maybe a liver capsule, that might be something worth looking at. The other reason why you might be losing iron, um, and this applies to both men and women, just as veganism or vegetarianism does, would be that you have an H. pylori infection. So I've done another video all about the Helicobacter pylori bacteria. It's a commensal bacteria or a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of bacteria. Um, that has a good side and a dark side. And the dark side is if it gets out of control, it eats all the iron in our blood. It's basically in our gut and it takes all the blood from the gut. It strips out all the iron um, and it makes it very hard to absorb vitamin B12. So those are possible reasons for low iron and B12. Another reason you might have premature gray hair is that you've recently had an infection viral or bacterial because when that happens the body one of the ways that it actually can try to attack the uh, the pathogen is by releasing hydrogen peroxide which dun, 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 is exactly the same thing as is in the bottle at the hairdressers to bleach your hair blonde uh, so that brings me to the next part of my list which is stress if you have a lot of stress, and I've done several videos about this, so again, I'm not gonna go into it, but basically stress will give us, it will push out adrenaline uh, so that we can decide if we uh, want to fight, flight, or freeze the threat that we perceive. And when that threat is gone, we've gotta get rid of the adrenaline and how the body does it is by converting it into hydrogen peroxide. Again, the same thing that's in the bottle, the bleach bottle at the hairdresser. And then uh, we need enough catalase or glutathione in the body. These are enzymes that convert hydrogen peroxide into harmless water. If we don't have that, then we are going to um, experience gray hair. Finally, um, another reason is perhaps we are not producing enough spermidine in our gut. So spermidine is a natural polyamine that uh, kickstarts a process called autophagy. Autophagy, um, the mechanism of autophagy um, was only recently explained and uh, it won the Nobel Prize in 2016 um, because it's actually so important. It basically is how the body recycles the proteins, the, uh, the old organelles, and converts them either into energy for our cells to use or into new components for new cells. So it's a process of cellular renewal. And if we don't undergo that process, um, either by getting, say, spermidine from our diet or having our gut bacteria, commensal gut bacteria, again, produce it, we are not going to kickstart the autophagy process. Without the autophagy process, we won't be 
continually generating more melanocytes, which um, help bring melanin into the hair bulb uh, in the hair follicle. So that's the laundry list. Now you know what to tick off with your doctor if you're going to explore this. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. You'll also find a link there for the newsletter, the anti-aging newsletter, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.